So once you've created some action macros, you need to manage them. Now, if you're only working on your one computer and it's only you, it's really not much that you really need to do to it. So you're okay. However, most of us though, will be working with other people and we will be working on a network. So you need to manage those action macros accordingly. By default, all action macros created in AutoCAD are saved on the local hard drive. So when you make them on a computer, they're saved on that computer. You can browse to them just like you would any other file, and then you can copy them and put them on your company's network and share out that folder so that everyone can use them. Now that's great. Now you're gonna have to tell your machine though where to look for them, and you can do that in a couple of different ways. Now if you go to the Manage tab on your ribbon, here's your Action Recorder panel, and you have these two buttons right here. One is Preferences, and one is the Manage Action Macros. If you click on Preferences, this will show you how they run. So you can expand on playback, that'll be this action recorder, and usually you wanna turn that off. You can expand on recording, that you usually want on because you wanna see what you're doing. And then you wanna prompt for action macro name. So you want that turned on typically because when you create it, you wanna be able to give it a name. So these are the out of the box settings and you typically don't wanna change those. Now this button here though, you're gonna use more often. The first one, you're gonna set it once and then forget it. This is where you manage all of your macros that you've created or are using. Here are the two that we've created earlier. Now I can copy it. If I select one, hit copy. It'll give it a new name, click OK. So now I have two of them. Well, that's great because now I have this first one. I can leave it intact. And this one I can experiment with or tweak it, add stuff to it, take stuff away, things like that if I want to. I can also delete one if I'd like. I can rename it or I can modify its basic information. Now, when you click on the modify button, like I just did, this isn't to actually change the steps as you see in the action recorder fly out here. This is just the basic information. I can change the name of it. I can change the description of it. I can't change the folder path or the file name. Now I can change some of these other settings if I'd like to, but mainly it's going to be the action macro name itself and the description. So when you're finished changing that, just click okay. Now, if you are using action macros across your network, you need to change that file location. So you come here to the options. This brings up your AutoCAD options dialog box, and it takes you to the files tab and to the action recorder settings. If you click on this button here, that'll expand out the file location. Right now, this is just going to my local hard drive. But if I want, I click browse, and then I just browse to the location on our company network and find where that file is and add it to this list. So now whenever I go and create one, it's going to be saved there. So be careful because whatever you make, when you make it, it's going to be saved at that folder location, which will be on your company's network. So be careful with that. However, if you have some that are local or you have more than one location for your action recorders, you can go right here. Now this is the one that you probably really want to set up on the network. This one, if you set this one up for your local hard drive, whenever you create an action macro, it'll be saved here. And then you can copy it and give it to the network administrator so that they can share it out to all of the CAD users as they see fit. So when you do that, you just do the same thing. You click add and click browse and you go to that location. So this was a way to get you access to multiple folders that have action macros on them. And so you can have access to it that way. But this is your main one. This is the folder where everything will be created when you make a new action macro. So you can create it here, save it locally on your computer, or maybe there's a place on the server where you're testing them out. That's very possible. You can do that, test everything out, and then when it's okay, copy the file to that other shared folder. So remember, managing macros is important. Give them good names. Your company probably wants to come up with a standard naming procedure or concept, some kind of plan, so that everyone, when they use it, they know what it is. Make sure you fill out that description area so that whoever else is using that action macro knows what it's for, what the purpose is. Maybe even put in some instructions on how to use it. Make good prompts, but don't put in too many. And just keep track of them. Share them out. Everyone use them. Test them. And you can all get a lot more work done in less time.